what up virgo welcome back to the channel it's your girl genie and you already know what it is so let's just get into your energy we're gonna be doing a reading to see what could be coming up for you from now to the end of august i've already shuffled for this and you already know what it is so let's just get into the energy let's see here what's going on for virgo what's the energy that could be popping up for virgo okay we have waiting room cuddle bug green thumbs in <laughs> spell work magic backfires okay childhood triggers hidden from you no this person isn't sagittarius trying something new rough experience showing love make an entrance pressing buttons repeat scenario Virgo, don't look back at something. Unexpected money caught a case. Somebody's just going crazy here. All right. Um, you've triggered somebody. Um, this person who's feeling triggered is waiting for something. Waiting a year, 365. Um, they may be waiting or caught in spiritual jail or doing something, stuck. You know what's, what's crazy? I just watched The Monkey King on Netflix. Hear me out. I just watched The Monkey King on Netflix, right? And this monkey was shunned by everybody um, but one person, this one girl. And the one girl helped the monkey find the, their powers. And when the, punk, the monkey did find their powers, the girl betrayed him um, because she had to. And so that made them fight okay and during this fight the monkey king goes crazy he tries to take over the world and he got put in his place and he had to wait in a mountain for 500 years and it's giving me this same scenario virgo there's somebody you met someone um you untapped some type of power inside of them and they used their power for evil and there was a there was a time where you betrayed them or you did something because you had to which was seen as a betrayal to them and y'all two separated during separation this person went crazy magic bad spell work this energy they went crazy right um and they created something but then they got sat down in a waiting room energy so something backfired they tried to do something and it backfired this person overstepped their boundaries by doing something you can feel like this person is coming back you can feel or this person may come back um, Virgo, there's something about this person being sentenced to a period of time where they have to sit and reflect on this until they have peace in their heart. Somebody's going to be made to wait until they have peace in their heart. This is an enemy. This is somebody who betrayed you in some type of way. Y'all, I recommend go, go watch the Netflix movie. It just came out, okay? The Monkey King. It was amazing. Um... Uh, I can't, I, this is what happened in the movie. This is what I'm getting in this energy. Somebody is about to have to pay the repercussions of something that they did um, and wait and sit until they have peace in their hearts. Yeah, this could be a liar, um, somebody who is negative. But again, with somebody with the divine protection, you are not alone. They were with you. They were with you, Virgo. Okay, they were with the divinely guided um, divine feminine and divine masculine spotlight and this made them have the spotlight to their enemies that they were partying with the people who they had this who they ran with okay we have personal boundaries peaceful life and interference yeah those are the people who are interfering so somebody somebody got into this person's ear hyped them up something got to this person hyped them up made them do this um and now they have to sit down I just heard, sit down, be humble. And I'm just getting the verse that we have to become humble, humble like a child, willing to learn. Um, what's this energy for Virgo and what she or he will be feeling from now till the end of August? We have new life, change around the corner, new life emerging. Mm.
wanting control. Virgo, you what you need to know about this energy is that you're moving into like a new era and there's somebody who wants to be attached to you, but they have to sit down because they created their own jail here. All right, this person wants control of you, control of your magic. Yeah, they, they definitely want to trap you mentally, all that, okay? Um, let's see about this energy for how Virgo will be feeling. Waiting room cuddle bud. Here we go. We have the two of swords, the nine of swords, and the emperor. You're going to be blocking somebody, <clears throat> a nightmare emperor, um, uh, somebody very toxic, somebody who's like really anxious, um, not feeling good. This is somebody who is trying to control their nightmare okay so somebody could be going through something i'm getting this this person is like um not mentally stable the sun card this could be a leo and aries or a father figure i think i'm hearing tyler the creator what's this energy hang dragon the sun someone is someone is they've already been enlightened three of cups and the queen of wands someone is just now starting to see the company that they keep they're just now starting to awaken to something page of cups i feel like they're sorry the justice and the ten of wands the nine of wands the ten of swords this is the betrayal Seven of Wands. <clears throat> Somebody is like um, seeing something differently or they're going to be stuck, okay? Stuck until they get clarity. Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands about the company that they kept. What's the Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands? The Three of Swords. How these people were like secretly working against them, secretly causing loss. Okay, subconsciously planting things. There's something about someone. Something that this woman did in the dark. Ten of coins, the ace of coins, the six of coins, the three of wands, the queen of swords, the eight of wands. Somebody's just now realizing that it was the people around them that didn't want them to have this. They didn't want them to have victory. Eight of Wands. Somebody could have been using communication. Okay, they could be. They could have spoken things over your life. Like you'll always, <clears throat> you'll always be single. You'll never find that person. We're always gonna be me and you. We're always gonna be bachelors. You feel me? Me and you. We're always gonna be um, players. We're always gonna be in this game together. Me and you. And you may have agreed to some type of communication that somebody was like speaking or this person agreed to some type of communication that someone was speaking over their lives and there's something deep here um but anyways whoever this person is is starting to see the people and whatever um caused this heartbreak they're they're starting to see how their community or um the people that they were around the three the six the queen of swords the three of wands and the six of wands That the people there around wanted to separate you you two or wanted some type of separation with the three of wands and the six of wands so somebody had to wait for victory yeah waiting room wow now there's communication about new love somebody feels defeated there's a tower somebody's in their head about this Why are you telling us about this person, Virgo? Somebody's gonna have, somebody's gonna sit until they, um, until they see clearly about everybody that they were dealing with, until they see clearly the whole perspective of something. I don't know how long that's gonna take them, um, but at the end of the movie in the Monkey King, they open, they open his crypt and they're like, Monkey King, do you now have peace in your heart? Are you ready? And he was like, How y'all go tell me to fight um, when I just woke up with peace in my heart? And then he cracked a smile and he went crazy again. 
Um, so proving he didn't learn his lesson. This is somebody that's not going to learn their lesson, Virgo. I feel like this is somebody who's never going to give up. Why are you telling us about this person? Why are you telling us about this person? The hang dragon and the five of cups. Because when they realize, when they realize, Virgo, they're going to be very disappointed. But the five of cups also talks about like three cups spilled over and two left. This person is still imagining, even though all of this shit has happened with the two cups left, that maybe there could be a possibility with a magician card. I am the monkey king. Okay, I manifest shit and this shit happens for me all the time. Okay, seven of coins. I've invested in this. I know how to manifest this. I've done it before. Two of cups. I can't make this up, Virgo. This person, two of wands, the two of pinnacles, the page of pinnacles waiting for an opportunity. And I don't feel like this person's, I'm going to stop. The high priestess and the five of cups. What is this energy? What I'm more confused about is bat spell work. Why are you telling us about this? The death card and the two of swords. Temperance, the three of cups, the magician, the knight of wands, the seven of coins, the sun, the page of wands, the wheel of fortune, the six of swords, the higher hand, the ace of swords, the king of coins. And somebody is like watching you as well. <clears throat> Why are they telling you about this person, Virgo? Um, because something, I, I feel like when this person gets the perspective that they're supposed to, they'll realize that, um, they're, they're going to be upset that something ended or how something ended. And with the two of swords, there's a choice now, again, temperance and the three of cups. Somebody's still waiting to like reconcile, um, or <clears throat> they will wait to get back together. I'm also hearing like menacing music, okay? The King of Pentacles. I'm also hearing the Knight of Wands. I'm also hearing um, menacing music. Like, I don't think this person is like gonna stop. Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. I'm going to get up out this person's energy, but whoever this person is, is going to realize something and it's going to make this person want to take some type of action. Okay. So watch out for crazy cuddle bug, um, black magic over here. Give me something for the magic. Hold on. Give me something for the magic. What's backfiring? What's backfiring here? What's backfiring? The spell work magic? We got the tower and the five of swords. Yeah, somebody's defeating themselves. Okay, because they went crazy. They did too much. Somebody did too much. The tower and the five of swords. Somebody was like <clears throat> nine of wands. I feel like something, something broke when they went against you. Yeah, because in the movie, The Monkey King, yeah, I'm going to keep referencing back to that. Go watch it, okay? In the King, in the movie, Monkey King, the little girl gets picked up by Buddha, right? And she's able to puppet Buddha to trap this person. So Divine Feminine, <coughs> Feminine Energy, you could have been working with the Divine or Divine been working with you to entrap somebody because they needed to sit the fuck down. Yes, they are powerful. Yes, they are who the fuck they say they are. Yeah, they went a little crazy because they got a little taste of their power and went to the dark side and let dark people try to control them. Um, but now they have to sit down because they created some type of dumb shit. They also participated in some bullshit too. So now it's time to make a, make a penance. The Tower and the Five of Swords. They defeated themselves when they went against you for real. The Strength card. Mmm. the emperor yeah man this, <clears throat> when this backfire too it came strongly towards this person six of swords and moon the knight of coins yeah this is something returning or going to someplace the moon the knight of coins the death card 
the Nine of Cups of Kings. What? I'm going to stop there. Um, yeah, so that's going to be some energy you could be dealing with <clears throat> from now to the end of August. You could be finding out somebody has to sit down, somebody has to wait. This is giving psych ward energy too for some reason. Okay. Cuddle bug and psych ward. I'm getting somebody in like that padded room or in a um, straight jacket. Straight jacket energy. I'm not even lying. I don't know what that's about. Um, what, what's something else Virgo can encounter from now to the end of August? What is something else? We have divine masculine, new love. Huh. And goddess glow. We got dark complexion. Not the right time. Pisces, see you work hard all day. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Something is not the right time. We got rebuke at the bottom and clarity. Red for days. Virgo, you may have you may have been telling yourself no. Okay, rebuke and clarity. Like, no, this isn't it. This isn't it. This isn't it. Um <coughs> And now you're getting some type of clarity, girl, boy, divine masculine. I could be talking to a divine masculine here about to meet a goddess with a goddess glow, new love, find new love here. Take it as it resonates. I could be talking to a feminine about to run into a divine masculine and they know each other by a goddess glow or goddess glow gets like, okay, one, two, three, okay, and okay, um, <laughs> What's this energy Virgo could be encountering from now to the end of August? Virgo, you could meet somebody. <clears throat> you could meet somebody and have drinks with them. Drinks could be significant. Uh, cups could be significant. With the divine masculine in blue and two cups. Okay. Um, with the divine masculine in blue and two cups, this definitely could be a water sign or somebody who reminds you of a water sign or somebody who's just like uh, real balanced with their energy here. Goddess glow. You could be like doing some type of, oh shit, past memory, feeling nostalgic past people slash events. Focus on the future. Virgo, it's a need to focus on the future because um, this is coming in in the future. Okay, there's a lot of past energy around you. Feeling nostalgic. There's past people. There's events that, that may remind you of the past and shit. There's something here about focusing on the future. Look, rosary and... Holy. Okay. Tough decision. Okay, um, somebody is a real divine masculine here. <laughs> okay, they got the cross. I may be tapping into um, real divine masculine Virgos. I don't know who this is, but hello, it's nice to read for your energy. <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of divine masculines around on these parts. We, <laughs> we, we haven't seen a lot of divine masculine around these parts. Sir, can you please stay? Jeez. This could be a, a Leo. <laughs> Tough decision. No going back. Oh, and G Virgo. Risk is involved here. Oh, and G. I'm getting one of those crazy romantic comedy movies where somebody goes to like a secret island and then they find this uh, guy there who like shows them a whole new motherfucking world they end up falling in love but they're from two different parts of the planet and that and it, you feel me and there's like some type of adventure and risk that they're gonna have to take or some shit Get, get whoo, whoo. i love the energy i can feel it on my skin i can feel it <laughs> i can feel it yeah you can be lonely okay when you run into run into this person okay a natural disaster there's that risk again um what the fuck is this? Mm, mm, mm. I feel like somebody don't even know they're a divine masculine. When they play it down. Somebody can be a liar as well. <laughs> you know Vagenta don't like liars. I can feel it. Mm. Vow and preserve. What's going on here? Divine masculine. 
New Love and Goddess Glows. What's really going on here? The Goddess Glow in Red is giving me like blushing. Okay. What's going on here? Divine Masculine, New Love, and Goddess Glow for Virgo from now to the end of August. Ooh, we got death to conflict, self love. Oh my goodness. Hold on. <laughs> Baby, um, y'all know when I start saying baby and child and girl, <laughs> let me chill. Uh, we got mercy, charity, kindness. We have responsible confirmation and assurance. I promise. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. Virgo, the universe could be having like uh, mercy on you. Yeah, because of a death, because of an ending, there's something that could have taken place where you're getting some type of kindness, where you're going to be assured that you will have this energy even after some death. Some of you, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm about to cry. Some of you that may have, um, some of you that may have met someone who has passed on you may have fell in love with someone who has passed on they're helping you find new love wow they're helping you find new love here this is the hand that's reaching out giving you this mercy this kindness they want you to take it look i'm crying they want you they want you to be happy with somebody else they want you to be feel love in this lifetime so they're gonna help bring somebody they're gonna help bring somebody uh you two together oh my goodness my condolences for anybody who's who's had a lover that's passed on um they want you to know that they love you and they want you to be happy in this lifetime they know they see you looking back at the memories they see you being nostalgic and they want you to focus on they want you to have that in the future so oh my goodness y'all <laughs> y'all um this is a lot <laughs> this is a lot death r.i.p i can't make this up this person is from the grave they they see that you have conflict with self-love and you feel trapped <laughs> Woo! um shit y'all let me pull back my gangster <laughs> okay <laughs> let me let me pull back my gangster real quick um um shoot because um, they're, they, they're trying to land you with this jackpot. And you may be feeling like this is deception. Okay? You may be feeling like you don't deserve this because you're scared and overloaded. But you deserve care. They see you alone. And they want to liberate you from loneliness. I'm sorry about that. I just had to take a second. Somebody wants to liberate you from loneliness. Ready, magic, supernatural, vow. Get ready here. Okay, be prepared. This person is doing some type of magic, supernatural vow here to preserve or help you preserve over something. They feel guilty that you have to go on an adventure alone. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's see what this energy is here. For divine masculine new love goddess glow this is ridiculous um, divine masculine new love we have the seven of wands what's this energy the ace of coins the seven of coins, the ten of cups, the page of swords, yeah. So many of you could be blocking an opportunity or have your guard up against an opportunity. Seven of cups and the ten of coins because of some type of illusion or feeling like it's fake. Ten of cups and the page of swords. All right, with the Ten of Cups and the Page of Swords, you could be like, <clears throat> you 
You could have felt like some opportunity could have been blocked from you. Okay, and guarded because you felt like you had a family. Or there's like looking back on on this energy. What's this here? With the page of swords. The wheel of fortune, the strength of devil, the knight of comes the ten of coins. Wow. Something was protected, I feel like. I also feel like with the Seven of Cups and the Ten of Cups, I feel like you were... Like there was multiple ways you could have had this Ten of Cups here. The Page of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. But somebody had to like learn or watch. Something had to be... It's like an action was made because of someone else's decision. With the strength card, the devil, and the nine of cups, the ten of coins. Yeah, I feel like somebody made some type of decision because of they were <clears throat> they were trying to control some type of addiction, maybe. With the strength card, the devil, and the nine of cups, it's addiction that's excessive. Um energy ten of coins that's expensive the ten of wands somebody could have been like struggling with addiction um the justice color i feel like somebody here could have definitely felt like they got blocked from a blessing because Maybe there's like friends and family that could have seen something or knew something. But they weren't able to help or change something because of somebody's strong addictions or strong persuasion. There was some type of strong persuasion that happened. Now there's justice happening. What's the justice card? The queen of pentacles and the five of pentacles. Yeah, now you're getting justice because you were left out of something. Whatever happened left you out in the cold, left you depleted, left you alone, left you depressed. What's this energy? Whoa. The four of coins. The ace of swords, the empress, the four of wands, four of swords, the four of wands, the ten of swords, the six of cups, the four of coins, the death card. Hmm. I'm not going to take that because I don't know how it fell out. What's this energy here with the Queen of Coins and the Five of Coins? Virgo, there could have been a scenario where something was blocked. Somebody tried to block your vestments by causing an illusion about this family or whatever. Somebody's perception about this. They were able to change and persuade this person using their negative vices in some type of way. Um, Virgo, for the love of money, I heard. Okay, justice. The Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Now I feel like some type of justice is happening because you were left out. Like somebody separated from you because you were cold here, Virgo. Because th this person left you out or something. And there's the energy of you turning cold, okay? And with the Emperor or the Magician or this person just left you. We have the Emperor, the Magician, the King of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Hermit. Somebody lied. I 
an opportunity was stolen from somebody because of somebody else lying. Like somebody persuaded somebody to do something. You may also like, um, you may also have to go to some type of court to say something because these people are trying to take some type of action to lie about how somebody died. The hermit, the queen of wands, the magician. Oh shit, we're getting into some bullshit here. Virgos, you may have fought on somebody's behalf or like looked for secrets, looked for something like, um, you may be, oh my goodness, you may be spending a lot of time searching for lies and inconsistencies about how something happened, the death of something, how something didn't turn out your favor and somebody wants you to stop. They, they want you to have new love right now in, in the present. You feel me? And not worry about like proving their case, uh, proving what happened, finding out what happened. What's going on? What's the new love? What's the new love? I can't be here this long. What's the new love? What's the new love here for Virgo? Somebody could have like I'm getting like Elvis, like somebody could have like said because he was a drug addict, they were able to like say it was a drug death or something. You feel me? Like, I'm not saying nothing with Elvis, okay? Don't come for me. This is this is make believe, okay? But I'm saying it's something like that. The Magician, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Swords. There could be some type of manipulation trying to make it seem like somebody's walking away or to get somebody to walk away, walk towards a lie. What's this energy? The magician, the eight of cups, the seven of swords, the queen of cups. What's the magician? The king of cups, the style of four of cups. Our energy is giving like, yeah, somebody definitely manipulated something. So maybe it's like people walking into a lie or walking away from a lie. Somebody is also trying to get you to walk away from the lies to, you feel me, balance yourself. Because I feel like someone wants to lead you to manifest you to find a, a counterpart. King of Cups, the Queen, the Queen of Cups, Star Card, and the Four of Cups to make you heal from something you feel like you missed out on. This is that new love and it's coming in for you. The Knight of Coins energy, Queen of Wands and the Three of Wands, the High Priestess, Six of Wands and the Five of Coins. There's also like people like really trying to like see you fail see you like trapped and stuck in your head and fuck up um virgo i just see i just see a lot of bullshit that is not pertaining to this but it's like blaringly in my face so um the, <laughs> the end of august through september is about to be hype okay um and not not <laughs> not in a good way okay so buckle up get ready for that stay prayed up you feel me make the best decisions you can um, one more thing for what Virgo could be experienced till now, to the end of August. The tables have turned out of gas. Peace and love up top. Well, chill out. 
the tables have turned out of gas and small world. Okay, we got peace and love up top. The nature of peace and love. Faded event. Agreeing to end. Heating wick under my skin. What the fuck? We got accident. Yeah, man. Attraction. The grass was fake. Rick and Morty. Okay. Adventure. Long-term relationship. Just like the moon. Mm-hmm. Calculated outcome. Okay. Let's get into it, Virgo. Tables have turned out of gas and small worlds. It's giving big, big, big return that sender energy. Um, Flip-flopping shift, a change in dynamic out of gas and small world. Oh, oh, oh. The out of gas energy is depletion. Small world energy is giving that like everything is connected. Somebody is realizing that all their moves are connected out of gas. What's this energy? Where am I at? Where am I at? <clears throat> there could be something about gas prices. Tables have turned in a small world. We may, you know how we like get gas from other places? I know there's like fracking and stuff like that here. But I feel like. I feel like somewhere around the world they're gonna be out of gas and the tables will turn they only need to come to us for a resource I'm also getting if that's not the case it's the other way around this energy out of gas tables have turned turntables djs could be significant i don't know why out of gas table look at abundance prosperity good luck energy third party interference something was interfering with the abundance with your abundance out of gas and small world masculine rosary Betrayal. There go that person again up here doing spell work. Whoever this masculine was that betrayed you or got betrayed. We have ring and fluid and magic. Now they're contracted to go along with some type of uh, energy that's controlling them. Okay. This could have been through intimate communication or intimacy that they got caged here. Health. Oh, wait. Um. <coughs> I feel like um, something, something's been holding back abundance. Um, been holding back, uh, I hear hoarding. Somebody has been hoarding the resources, Virgo, um, and out of gas. Now they're, now they're unable to do this. We have a small world. I feel like something has shrunken for someone and another person has getting something. Tables have turned, yeah. Yeah, third party. There was some type of interference in the abundance, in the bounty I heard. Third party trying to impress negative people. Temptation, ripple effect. Heartbroken, stubborn. Clover, anchor. Wanting convenience, separation, trident, cupid, magic. Grenade, phone, speaking, rosary, graduation. There could have been an aspect of multiple people trying to wield something. Wield something so that people come to them. They were vampires. This is something that tempted people towards them. People, tempted people towards it. This could be an attraction, anything. But this had a spreading of consequence. It made an action because of all the love and hate all the emotion all the energy that it got okay stability durability riches and wealth good fortune good luck somebody was like very 
like stingy with the good luck, the prosperous energy with their prosperity here. Anchored, they tied something up and they made people feel unsatisfied and unhealthy so they continue to do it. Separating, but now something's being separated because someone has control or something has control. So Virgo, I, I feel like there was something behind, I just heard behind the, the back, behind the wall, fourth wall energy. There was somebody in the fourth wall energy who was pulling strings. I just heard string theory. Um, out of gas, tables of turn, small world, abundance. What's this energy? We have preserved deception, luck, and confinement. Yeah. So somebody was able to preserve some type of money, some type of uh, 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 abundance using deception. This could be anything, y'all. We have luck and confinement. They they hoarded all the luck or they took your luck. They took your fortune. They took your money. They took your rewards. They can find it. Okay? They held it in captivity. And now it's about to stop. That shit is over. We have gift. Yeah, you're getting a gift here. Trap, profession, and bribery. These people could try to trap you. Or they did try to trap you, make you work for them, bribe you, tempt you, made you suffer, bully you, blind, triumph, third wheel, ideal, imagining those justice. Somebody never imagined justice would happen. Confirmation. What's the, what's the abundance here? Yes, yeah, so something is being freed. I just heard let loose. I also heard the flood gets to heaven. We have eternal love, failure, and strategy. Apology. Consistency, soulmate, energy. Eternal. Eternity, excuse me. Eternity, failure, and strategy. Somebody was, they, they tried to keep this abundance forever and they failed. This was an eternal strategy. There was a failure in the plan, Virgo. Now they're, now they're feeling remorseful or somebody's, somebody's feeling <clears throat> guilty because they're imagining people getting good news of gaining natural disasters, live and learn. Like people just bouncing back from stuff. Stubborn, blessing, curse, hesitation, withdraw, evidence, loss. This person is still going to continue to try the curse even though they've getting evidence that everything is turning against them. Okay, so take this as it resonates. I don't know what this could be, y'all. Um, this could be like a little person who tried to fuck up your life with love, um, Virgo. This could be a job that tried to hold back your money, confine you to their business, um, hold back your ideas, keep you in a contract, take your money here, eternally make you in poverty as they, you you feel me, fucked you over. This could be a person, place, job, the government. This, this could be a whole lot of things that tried to confine you in such a way where you were dependent on them. Okay, and that shit is over. That shit is over. And I feel like they're going to be very sorry that they even did this. I feel like somebody is very sorry that they even did this, Virgo. We have the Six of Swords. Yeah, something is moving into a better place. Alright, I'm here. And there's a place that I go where nobody knows where the river flows. And they call it home. And there's no more to lie. Time to turn. Butterflies. Oh my goodness. There's only butterflies. Butterflies could be significant. I got a pocket full of sunshine. Could be significant. Look, and the sun is right here. I got a love and I know that it's all mine's. Oh, 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 oh. Take me away <laughs> to a secret place. Wow, you may fall in love with somebody and like move to a sacred place like across the world, somewhere in an island or a beach, just tropical as fuck, just living out life, being old together and shit. Um, but that's side note energy. With the Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups and the Page of Swords, Virgo, there's going to be something that emotionally stirs 
the energy. With the Six of Swords, you're going to be feeling like you moved into a place of plenty here with the Ace of Cups, with the boon, with a boon of emotional awakening and spiritual awakening and, 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 and an overpour of emotion here with the Ace of Cups. I feel like this is an opportunity given by the Divine or something Divine had to balance this energy. But with the Page of Swords, you're about to be seeing this or somebody is about to be seeing this. The Sun card, the Devil, the Two of Wands. Also, somebody's plans are foiled. Yeah, somebody's plans. Look at this. We have eternal love, failure, and then planning. Somebody speaks about some type of plan. The sun card, the devil, and the, the sun is shined on the devil's plan here. Communication comes out that blows up something. Okay, with the strength card, the higher fit, and the judgment, somebody is really going to be looked at, like, in a morally incompetent way, like, uh, like, like, like this person was a bad motherfucker, okay? With the hang dragon, the ten of wands, and the ten of swords, everything this person has done, they're going to realize is coming back towards them. Four of wands, the nine of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, the death, the ten of pentacles. This could have been people who were, like, <clears throat> working against families. Working against children. I mean, yeah, they're 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 hurting us all, right? What's what's about to be seen with the page of swords? Death card, the end to something. I heard end times. Ten of ten of ten of cups right underneath that. Seven of cups and the ace of Coins, Virgo, two of cups, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Somebody tried to do some shit and it just made something else happen even better. First off, you're about to be taken to a place where there's milk and honey. Okay, you're about to see something transform here. With the ten of cups, the seven of cups, and the ace of coins, this is the energy of being happy and having multiple choices here of abundance with the ace of coins but with the two of cups underneath that as well like virgo seven of wands the king of swords the empress the page of cups the six of coins the sun card the devil what's this energy with the death card here the knight of cups The Three of Cups. I definitely see something transforming and being mediated here with the Knight of Cups. What's this energy? Uh, Scorpio could be significant. Be the Four of Swords, the Knight of Coins, and the Nine of Cups. Something is being rejuvenated. Okay? So something here... something here you could have watched like dwindle or change or end is like being revived here the knight of wands and the knight of cups because of an action that somebody took towards emotional stability or this action is being taken knight of cups and it will lead to emotional stability there's something here about oh, and the lovers there's something here about um a change happening the queen of wands the two of swords yes i'm all done so i can make them really healthy what are you looking for i want some monkeys i want to watch some monkeys Okay, Virgo, I feel like there's going to be a transformation happening here with the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you'll have a choice, okay? You can take action towards whatever choice that you want. The Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands here. Okay, but with the Queen of Wands and the Two of Wands, you definitely, um, Three of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Queen of Swords. And the star, I mean, the Star card. It could have to break your heart, or it could break your heart to see something, see the tables turn on somebody. But, 
Yeah. Um, but definitely there is something that's going to be changing here. Something that's going to be going from death to being re revived. With the Knight of Wands, there's some type of action or there was something that you may have taken that was like, it paid off here with the Nine of Cups is giving wish fulfillment. With the lovers, you're definitely going to have options here about the things that you have passion about. What's the, what's the Two of Swords? Like the Queen of Wands and the Lovers here. The Six of Wands, the Nine of Coins, the Temperance. Virgo, you're going to have, it's like you're going to have multiple choices of what you want here. Two of Swords, but you may be hung up. And it may take you a while, but with the six of coins, you will be. You want to wash the honeybees? Give me one second. Go over there, mommy. Be there. Oh no. Okay. Um. But with the two of swords, the temperance, the six of wands, and the knight of pentacles, Virgo, you could be like worried that something isn't long term here. But with the temperance, the six of wands, and the knight of coins, I do see something being a consistent victory, um, divinely guided, all that. So. Um, something could, something could also look like a failure. Yeah, you could have, you could have gone through something and it looked like you failed here, but this was the strategy. It had to happen this way in or, for order, in order for it to be successful. Okay. So, um, by the end of August, you're going to start seeing things move into your favor. Um, but there's the energy of working with a strategy or knowing that there's a strategy to have long-term success. So don't like give up on anything. Don't be overly dramatic or overly emotional. If something does not go your way, know that rejection is divine protection. Know every roadblock is to lead you into a different place. You feel me? To, to bring back some type of luck here. So things are being shifted and moved around in order for you to have success. It may feel like you have lost or some type of failure, but it's a strategy. Okay, so it's... <clears throat> This is what I got here for you.